Dr. Dave 101. Ladies and gentlemen of ufology, if whether you're studying it, researching it, and experiencing it, or just have a curious interest, it is time for you and the rest of us to start looking at the mainstream media and holding them accountable for what they are not showing these days. Over the last two weeks, we have seen the military take on the elected in the United States. Now, we know the United States military spends a couple trillion dollars a year on whatever it is they want to buy, whatever new toys they want to test out, or future technologies, all for the sake of defense. Now, this is including UFOs. Just about, oh, 10 days ago, out of the Pentagon came this report that basically stated, we'll put it in layman's terms, that they are creating a new group, getting rid of the UAP task force, and creating the AOI MSG. Now, sure, that sounds like a spice that you would put on food, but no, 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 no. has everything to do with UFOs. And in that report, the military basically said, we're going to cover what's happening in airspace. We are going to investigate these sightings, these encounters, these close encounters, try and figure out what these craft are. So Senator Gillibrand and everybody else who is worrying about this in the U.S. Senate or the Congress, you don't need to worry about it. We got you covered. But don't worry, elected officials. We're not going to give you any information whatsoever. Whatsoever. Now, elected officials like Senator Gillibrand and now Congressman Tim Burchett are speaking up against the military, saying, whoa, 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 people. We're the ones who are giving you the taxpayer dollars. We are the ones who are asking for some accountability on this subject. We, as the American people, have a right to know about what is going on in our airways, in our skies. Are we safe? Are we allowed to feel that we are not in trouble or in any sort of danger? Because, you know, the threat narrative plays well with any time the U.S. military wants money. In my opinion, this is the first time that we are actually seeing publicly a tete-a-tete -tete between the military-industrial complex and elected officials by the people for the people. And it's all over UFOs. The most recent one to step into this foray is Tim Burchett. Now, for people who were listening earlier this fall to the Big Phone Home 2 put on by Lou Jimenez and his UCR group, the Unidentified Celebrity Review, on YouTube, you would know that Congressman Burchett actually called in and said he wants to know what's going on, that we have the right to know what's going on. We have a need to know what's going on. Well, Congressman Burchett has literally dropped the gloves, using a hockey term, because I am Canadian after all, on this entire subject. Let me quote here for a second. The Tennessee congressman doesn't want this new agency by the Pentagon to start up. He's not happy about it because it means less transparency. In Burchett's eyes, the Pentagon is only going to keep asking for more and more funding from Congress without giving up the goods on what they know about UFOs, and the House members thinks this is going down a road that is just plain foolish. It's true. 
It's totally true. This is why we see even people like Luis Elizondo and Chris Mellon being called out by the Pentagon, basically telling them, shut up, guys. Your opinion doesn't matter. So what did they do? They took to Twitter, UFO Twitter, and publicly to get the message out saying, hey, call your Congress people, call your senators, let's get this going. Because there is a war on the UFO front. It just doesn't involve aliens just yet. Now, the interesting part about this, because I am a media guy too, is the mainstream media really hasn't picked this up. Some have. Papers like The Hill, Politico, even TMZ. But where is this on the front page headlines of every major newspaper in the United States? You literally have the United States military and the Pentagon telling elected officials you do not have a right to know about UAP and what we find out about it. Now, I don't know about any other journalists out there, but it has my spidey senses kind of tingling a little bit, saying, there's a story here, and a major story. The military-industrial complex, ever since President Eisenhower warned the American public about it back in the 1950s, has literally been in control of everything that happens. The United States government spends more than the next 28 countries on military and defense annually, including Russia in that list. And when you look at what they have accomplished with technology, it's phenomenal. Going back to the days of the SR-71 and U-2, followed up by the F-117 stealth fighter, the B-2 bomber, the B-1 bomber, the F-22, the F-35, some will call the latter not very successful and extremely expensive, but they keep pushing technology forward. This is why the military-industrial complex does not want to give up its secrets, and the military knows that the media is not going to have any stories on this. They're not going to press the stories, even though every American right now should be outraged that they are telling the public, you do not have a right to know. They are telling the U.S. elected officials, we don't care what you think or what you may vote on. You're not getting any information. Dangerous, isn't it, when you think about it that way? If this subject wasn't about UFOs, it would be top priority for every media outlet out there. But but because it is UFOs, and this subject has been a barren wasteland for decades for the media, They have zero interest in covering it, for the most part. This story needs to come out, whatever way possible. And I will be the first one to say that I was not a fan of any sort of narrative that we saw since the beginning of the To the Stars Academy. And Lord knows we could talk ad nauseum about that. But this new wave of information that is being blocked by the Pentagon is incredulous. And if you're American, you should be outraged. You should be calling your senators, writing them emails. You should be calling your congresspeople. Because the military in the U.S., has just given every civilian, including elected officials, the middle finger. We don't know what UFOs are. We can only assume. We don't know what the United States government truly knows about this. Because people like Luis Elizondo and others, they are so embedded in their non-disclosure agreements that we'll never know the truth. But the stories are out there. The information is out there, and probably the crash retrievals and the alien bodies are out there. 
We can no longer deny this, even though the U.S. military wants us to. We need to know the story. We're big boys and girls now. We, we can handle it, so we think. But just like Jack Nicholson, they are screaming and berating, you can't handle the truth, even though we want the truth. Doesn't that make you think that the military has their own UFO Pandora's box that they don't want opened? Maybe they have worked with aliens at Area 51 or Wright-Patterson Air Force Base or Dugway or Dulcie. Maybe Bob Lazar's story is true. Maybe David Adair's story is true. Maybe Eisenhower meeting with aliens in the early 50s is true. What else are they hiding? How many crash retrievals do they have from around the world, not just on U.S. soil? How about crash retrievals from Canada, Mexico? There's word that there could possibly be one that happened in Russia from a long time ago when it was the Cold War. What about their astronauts? People keep making fun of us who believe in this topic as tinfoilers. We now know where that story is coming from. It's coming from the military. It is coming from the Pentagon. And because the media doesn't want this story, it's coming from them as well. And the military and the Pentagon and the alphabet agencies, they are playing each and every one of us like fools because they know, they know the answer. They know what it's all about. And yet, they're going to keep teasing us, giving us little tidbits of cheese when we're hungry, less than can feed a rat. Because we are the rats to them. And they do not want us to be feeding off of their information. They want this back under the rug where they feel it belongs. Because when it's back under the rug, nobody talks about it. When nobody talks about it, nobody asks questions. When nobody asks questions, they get to play with all of the fancy toys that the aliens are dropping off. What if contact is about to be made? Do we know? Is that part of the secret? Because up until four or five years ago, there was really no reason for this topic to go mainstream like it has. And the only thing that we could sit here and do is shrug our shoulders, say, well, that's a little bit different. That's interesting. We know something is happening. We know there's information going on. We know there are scientists working on this technology. What we don't know is where it's happening, how it's happening, why it's happening, and where did the technology come from? Sure, we could hear people say, oh, they're interdimensional. They're from a different timeline. They're from inner earth. They're from outer space. We really don't know. We could only assume, but the American government may know. The United States military surely knows. And they are going to keep it as secret as possible. They're telling the politicians right now, hey, go take your money and become rich from your lobbyists. Or do you remember how many contracts that your state has to build military products? Let's remember that. We don't need more politicians like Harry Reid coming out way after the fact. What the American public needs right now is they need more Tim Burchett's and Senator Gillibrand's stepping up to the plate and saying, tell us what we need to know. Because this is still the question that affects every single person on this planet. Not every American, all 7.8 billion of us. And that is your Dave 101.